Hello everybody and welcome to today's episode of Downstream Outdoors. Today on Downstream Outdoors, we're going to continue our wild edibles, okay? Um, right now as we're filming, it's uh, late June here in central Pennsylvania and the wild edibles are really coming on really strong right now. Um, we're starting to find some of the first berries of the season. Um, this, the berry that we have here today is what's called a mulberry. A mulberry grows on trees okay and you'll see the iconic leaf shapes okay you see how this here one's kind of serrated like that okay and then you look at a different leaf and it doesn't have as much serration or fingering and then you got another leaf that's the that has really big serration now why am i pointing this out this is very important okay there's only two trees in the state of pennsylvania that have different shaped leaves all the other trees you look at the, the leaves and the leaves are almost identical other than size and maybe placement of the, the fingers on the leaf, okay? This mulberry actually has different shapes leaves, okay? The, the only other tree that's like this in the state of Pennsylvania is a, a sassafras, okay? Once again, edible, okay? But it looks completely different. We'll get into that in, another day. But for today, right now, we're looking for this kind of leaf, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna notice is that there's berries okay you can see one right here this one's uh, not quite ripe this one's just a little bit pink okay we don't want to eat the unripe berries okay what the reason we don't want to eat our the unripe mulberry is the unripe mulberry actually has a mild toxin okay will it kill you no it will not kill you um they say it produces mild hallucinations um not something that I want, I assume not something most of you want, okay? However, if we look right over here, we have these nice, dark, very, very dark, very juicy, ripe mulberries, okay? These mulberries are maybe one of my favorite treats in nature. They don't have seeds in them, even though they may look like a raspberry, blackberry, something like that. They don't have the seeds of the raspberries. They don't have the seeds of the blackberries, okay? Um, these things preserve really well. They make a wonderful jelly. Um, you can freeze them fresh like this and bring them back out if you're making a fruit salad or something later on in the year. Uh, one of my favorite ways to eat them is to get myself a nice cup full of them. You don't have to get a bunch of them and put them over top of vanilla ice cream fresh. That they're absolutely amazing that way okay uh, the next thing we, we want to talk about is we're gonna go back to the rule of thirds what's the rule of thirds the rule of thirds is never take more than one-third of what you find okay I could take one-third off this tree I go up the road there's another 10 feet there's another tree I can take a third from up the road I've been up there uh, I'm right off the side of a road right now I've been up this road today and I've probably counted 30 mulberry trees. Now, if I took one third from each one of those trees, I may end up with a couple gallon of mulberries. I don't need a couple gallon of mulberries. I'm not gonna use a couple gallon of mulberries. Uh, last year we made jelly with these, my mother and I, um, and I think we ended up somewhere right around one gallon of mulberries for uh, and did all the jelly we wanted, plus we ate a whole mess of them in the process um and now there is another type of mulberry that you will find in central pennsylvania it is a white mulberry it never turns dark like these ones do uh we're going to steer clear of that one it, it has the same leaves but the problem is the the ripe berry on a on a white mulberry looks exactly like an unripe mulberry on a black mulberry tree okay so unless you know exactly what you're looking at, it's very easy to confuse the two. So I'm going to recommend that if you would try something to go out and find yourself. These wonderful, wonderful, dark, dark, beautiful mulberries. Mm. That's good eating. I'm going to get myself some here. Now, last thing, remember, I always talk about it, make sure you positively identify. How can you positively identify? Talk to people.
find people who know this stuff. They will help you, okay? The, the one thing I have found that is true with most of us is those that truly love the outdoors, have a true passion for the outdoors, love to share that. They, people love to share the, their passion for the outdoors. Obviously I do, this is why I started the show. So if you could find somebody that has a true passion for the outdoors, talk to them. Soak their knowledge up like a sponge. There's a lot of people out there that know a lot of things about the outdoors. Remember, rule over third, positively identify. And until next time, keep your line wet and out of the trees. I better stop eating these or I ain't taking any home.